Ladies and gentlemen, Sal and Mike back with another video. Today we're talking about powerlifting, strength and conditioning, programming, buzzwords, or definitions of things like conjugate, concurrent periodization, and daily undulating periodization. What are they and what are the difference? Before we get involved, I need you to comment below what you want me to cover in upcoming videos. Be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, give that thing a thumbs up. Let's see if we can hit 1.5 thousand likes on this thing. Let's dig in. My man asks, Conjugate versus concurrent versus daily undulating and what are the differences? Before we hop in, um, most of these apply to powerlifting. Although programming in general can be broken down and used for anything we do in life. What I believe programming is, and there's probably some textbook definition, but to give it you guys, what you can understand is when you have a goal, we're gonna build a plan and a progression with intent towards that goal. And most of the time programming in this sense is used for our workouts or our strength and conditioning. Very common in powerlifting, weightlifting, endurance sports, even in team sports, basketball, etc. the strength and conditioning coach is working on programming that allows our athletes to perform at optimal times for their goals. Now, let's break things up a little bit basically. So uh, two things, I guess uh, he's a little confused because some of these overlap, but concurrent Periodization or concurrent programming basically means that you're training to always be ready. There's not a lot of peaks and valleys. You're always kind of at a high or midpoint and you're always ready to perform. Um, conjugate method made popular by Louis Simmons, um, the conjugate West side method is a concurrent type of programming with two upper body days and two lower body days a week. One of each is gonna be a max effort day. So you're gonna handle a varied exercise, not the squat bench or dead, but a variation of those, and handle a maximal load. Often in the West Side method, a heavy one. You're gonna to work to a max. It's a kind of a mix of a Bulgarian and more of a Russian style lifting. The other day of the lower and upper body day is what they call a speed day or an explosive day or a dynamic effort day, where they're gonna handle anywhere from 50, 60%, maybe 70% of that one rep max with another variation and they're gonna handle it for singles, doubles, and triples and they're gonna move it very, very fast. So on one day you're handling a maximal load, tends to be slow when you're lifting a, a, a max, and then really fast and really explosive on the other day handling sub-maximal loads. Now this is a type of concurrent programming because there's no peaks and valleys. Once a week you're handling a max in a squat dead bench, one week a max, or one week you're handling light loads and so Within a month, you're handling, you know, four heavy days and four light days. Opposed to a more block periodized, where you have kind of an accumulation phase, a peaking phase, et cetera, et cetera, where you block things out by either two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, and you have multiple blocks where some blocks are focusing in on, let's say, first block's hypertrophy and you're working in sets of maybe eight to 12 on everything you do. Then the, then the next block is uh, 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 extra volume. And so now you're handling heavier loads, but you're doing a lot of volumes. Maybe you're doing seven sets of five, seven sets of three, 10 sets of three. And then a peaking or tapering phase where you take away some of that volume, you start handling heavier loads and you hope for some super compensation where basically your body is healing from all that volume you did the block before. And now you're going to hopefully be your strongest and peak towards what would be a powerlifting meet, weightlifting meet, or maybe an event like running a marathon. So that's where the, the running and powerlifting and things kind of combine. Um, there's been a lot of successes with West Side Barbell, concurrent training, uh, the conjugate method with geared powerlifting. Uh, there is some successes, uh, although I think outliers for the West Side conjugate method with raw lifters. Um, the other question is daily undulating periodization, which could also be blocked out. Um, but basically what that means, uh, instead of doing kind of a hypertrophy block, maybe a, a strength endurance block and a strength block where it's like, uh, hypertrophy block again is sets of 10. Let's say the strength endurance is sets of eight. Uh, and then the, the strength block itself is sets of one to five. What you would do is condense that and you would raise your frequency and you would hit nearly all of those within the same week. So say I'm squatting three times a week. What I would do within that is, uh, it's actually not that dissimilar from maybe uh, you know a conjugate method, except for the varied exercise. Typically, in undulating periodization, you're a little bit more specific. You don't necessarily have to be. There can be exercise variation, but I'm trying to give you guys all the factors here because this is a very in-depth question. I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. So we squat three times a week. One day is gonna be kind of that hypertrophy day where let's say I'm hitting sets of eight on the squat. 
Then I'm squatting on my second day. I'm gonna hit sets of three and I'm doing it for form uh, and a little bit of volume. And I'm, I'm doing sets of uh, six sets of three at, at maybe 70%. So it's heavy, but it's not too heavy. And then my other day is gonna be heavy day. Uh, it's gonna be the strength-based day. So maybe I'm hitting five sets of two at 80 to 90%. Um, and we're gonna rinse and repeat that. The number one goal though for all of these programs should be progression. And if it's not, you need to ask your coach or check your programming and what you're actually doing. I can write down a bunch of exercises with sets and reps and percentages and all these things. But if it doesn't have progression day to day, week to week, month to month, you're wasting your time. One is a workout, one is programming. So even with daily undulating periodization or concurrent programming, what you basically want to do is you want to add some type of stimulus week uh, every other week, every month, depending on how advanced you are. And that's what kind of defines a beginner, intermediate, and advanced is how often you can add progressive overload. If you're more advanced, you can't just add five pounds every week to your bench press and get stronger. As a beginner, you may be able to do so. In the undulating model, we still want to add either a set, a rep, maybe some poundage or some type of volume on accessories, something week to week, month to month, so we can continue to progress. Now all program again, if we wrap it up, the goal is some type of progress, some kind of intent towards some goal. And all those will have to line up based on the athlete, the athlete history and the goal itself. I know that's a lot of information and there are some gaps in it. So leave your questions below. We can dive into a little bit more particulars if you'd like. Check back on the channel, just search. I have tons of videos on programming itself with tons of examples. And I also have kaizentraining.com that has all of my programs if you wanna check those. Some of them are free. Others I think are highly affordable with with a bunch of PDF video and information on there. I appreciate you guys. Silent Mike, I'm out of here. I'll catch you on Twitch every single day. We're streaming, we're talking fitness, we're talking life, relationships, business, and playing a little bit of video games. And also I got a new podcast, 50% Facts, iTunes, Spotify, etc. Catch you guys in the next one.